I have been meaning to cover this model DuckDB and SQL 7 billion for quite some time now. This model is still being used at various places as I can see. So it seems that it has stood the test of the time. Before I show you how you can get it installed locally on Windows and we test it out on different benchmarks, let me give you a very quick overview of this awesome model. DuckDB and SQL 7 billion is a family of autoregressive open source language foundation models designed specifically for SQL generation tasks. SQL is SQL which stands for structured query language and it is a language through which you interact and talk with your databases. Also, this model which is NSQL is based on Meta's original Llama 2 7 billion model. So it is a bit older but still performs very very well. After basing on Llama 2, it was further pre-trained on a data set of general SQL queries and then fine-tuned on a data set composed of DuckDB text to SQL pairs. I have done another video on DuckDB if you are interested and I have been using it for a lot of my projects for uh, in memory and other sort of use cases, real cool lightweight database. So please search it out. The training data details of this DuckDB and SQLs are also very interesting. 200,000 DuckDB text to SQL pairs were used and they were all synthetically generated using Mixtrol 8 into 7 billion model. Also, they used text to SQL pairs from NS text to SQL that were transpiled to DuckDB SQL using SQL Glot. And they evaluated their models on a DuckDB specific benchmark that contains 75 text to SQL pairs. DuckDB and SQL was trained using cross entropy loss to maximize the likelihood of sequential inputs. For fine tuning on text to SQL pairs, they only compute the loss over the SQL portion of the pair. The model is trained using 80 GB A100s leveraging data and model parallelism. And they fine tuned it for 10 epochs, which is quite high in my opinion, but seems like it performed well for them. Anyway, that's it. Let me take you to my local system where I'm running LM Studio. LM Studio is the tool which I am using on my Windows system. I have one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. If you don't know what LM Studio is, please search the channel for it and you should be able to find a video or two as how to install and use LM Studio. To launch LM Studio on the home page, just type DuckDB, press enter and then from here you will see that I already have downloaded one of the quantized version from Mother DuckDB which was done around three months ago two months ago i guess and they have provided this q8 one which is just over seven gig this is a file which i have downloaded and let's try to click on the three dots and load this model on our gpu card and then we will start talking with it model is loaded let's try to offload the layers to gpu let's try to do these many maybe and then reload the configuration. Let's wait for it to reload. Model is offloaded to the GPU, most of it. Let's try to ask it a question. So in this one, and I'm following the prompt template given by the, the this mother DuckDB in their model card. So first there is an instruction that your task is to generate valid DuckDB SQL to answer the following question given a DuckDB database schema. And then I am giving it a schema, which is just a table with some of the column names and stuff with the data types. And then my question is get all columns ending with underscore amount from taxi table. Now, let me run it. There you go. So amazing stuff. Now, you don't have to specify just for the DuckDB. You can go with a generic SQL and it should be able to give you. And what I have seen so far, it was following NC standard. Sometimes it go wavered but most of the time gets it right let's try out another one in the next question i'm asking it your task is to generate valid sql to answer the following question and question is what is the total number of customers in the customer table and i haven't given it um, customer table at all but should be able to do it let's press there you go so counts direct which is totally good 
let's ask it another one in this one i'm asking it your task is to generate valid duck tp sql let me try to see if it can do oracle sql to answer the following question what is the average order value for each country in the orders table and i am just going to remove this response let's see what it does yep you see so it is following the nc standard for sql so when i even specified oracle it was able to give me and before that we didn't specify any database so it was able to answer it perfect answer us perfectly well let's ask it um, a few more so in the next prompt i'm going to make it a bit harder so i'm asking it your task is to generate valid this the question is what is the average order value for customers who have placed an order with a total value greater than average order value of all customers so basically it is a nested sub query one there you go so you see it has perfectly produced a nested sub query and just remember this is a quantized version this is not the full version plus a uh, very high recommendation from them is that we should be also giving uh, or augmenting our prompts with the database schema so when it understands schema more the answer will be more performant but even then if you look at this answer there is nothing wrong with it i think this is a very very high quality answer in my humble opinion let's try out one more and again i'm asking you to list the products that have a higher average sales price than the average sales price of all products in the sales table but only include products with more than five sales let's try it out absolutely correct amazing amazing model i should say i think this really goes out of the way to produce a very very fine sql because it is fine to it let's see if it is able to i'm not sure if it is able to optimize the query or not but let's try it out so in this one i'm asking it without any prompt template given the provided suboptimal sql query intended to retrieve customer detail and their most recent order optimize this query to improve efficiency performance and readability let's see amazing stuff i think it can even do that too so all in all a real uh, treat to you know use this model and i think and now we can all see why this model is still in use after three months of its release uh, and just remember that it has been fine-tuned on llama 2 just imagine its performance on llama 3 really good stuff i will be focusing more on this maybe i will check it out if there is any latest release on llama 3 or if there isn't whenever it comes we'll also cover it off i will drop the link to its model card in beauty's description play around with it let me know what do you think and if you are using it already uh, let me know please very very keen to know how you are using it in the real world i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.